Today, I'm gonna to share with you how to create a relational linked database inside of Notion. So what do I mean by this? I mean, I'm gonna show you how to merge multiple databases in your workspace into one table to fill out all of the data in those databases in one place. And I'm not only going to show you how to merge multiple databases into one linked database, I'm also going to show you how to merge multiple relational databases or databases with relation properties. And with this particular use case for a job search dashboard, I'm also going to show you how to create procedure in Notion. In other words, how to create step-by-step -step database views in order to insert this data into multiple databases efficiently. You can follow along via the link down below and let's just get right into it. So here in this example, we're going to save job listings to a saved listings database, assuming that the person using this is looking for a job. Now the job listings database is also connected to a company database, wherein you can describe the company this job listing is from. Now inside of every job listing, we have other properties as well. And each one of these properties are properties I want to fill out in our step-by-step -step procedure linked database. Now, if I go through to the company connected to this job listing, there is a backlink that collects all of the job listings associated with this company. Now, how I'm able to do that is with a property called a relation property. And to add a new property through a page, you can just add a property here and choose relation. So what a relation looks like is just simply a connection. And you'll notice that in this nice preview window, which is part of the latest update from Notion. So we have the company's database connected to save listings with a relation called job listings. And then coming back, we have a relation property inside of saved listings called company connected to companies. So now in addition to adding information to two separate databases, we're adding information to two databases that happen to be connected to each other. There are also database properties for each company I want to fill out inside of the linked database we can create right now. So I'm gonna go back to creating procedure page and I'm gonna create my linked database down here. Now there are two ways you can do this. One way is through the block menu. I can go forward slash linked database, linked view of database. It will prompt me to find the database I want to connect to, or if I see my original database here, I can just go to the block menu of it and choose copy link. Now the link is copied to my clipboard and I can simply paste into the body of the page and choose create linked view of database. I can choose between an existing view from the original database. I only had one, which is just a plain table and a new empty view. I'm gonna choose the one we have. And I'm going to rename it to step one. This is going to be the first step in the workflow. And I'm going to go to properties and show the properties that I want to fill out. Up here at the top, you will see all of the properties shown in the table and down below all of them hidden from the table. I'm going to see company, status, and link. This is a link to the job listing. This is really all I need for step one. But the problem is this procedure is to add new job listings. And so I can maybe add a header up here, prompting me to do just that. Two hashtags will create like a markdown heading to add new job listing below. If that's the case, I don't wanna see all the job listings that I already have. I want to just see new ones. So what I'm gonna do is create a new property remotely into saved listings. And you can do that through a linked database. I don't need to navigate to my original. I can create it here and I can create a new property via this plus button, or I can go into the database menu, go to properties again, and down below go to new property. And here I'm going to create a property called focus. And focus is going to be a checkbox. 
This will indicate that I'm focusing on this particular listing right now. I'm going to hide it from this view by clicking on the title of the column and hide in view. And what I can do with this new checkbox is create a filter that says focus is checked. And I will only see what I'm focusing on. So let's create a new job listing. Product manager for growing startup. I can tab over to company to add that relation. So I can add a new company, one, two, three, tech company. And I can create a new company or choose an existing one. And then I can go over to status, researching, and then add a link through this files and media property in embed link. So there are two properties to add links. One is files and media and the other is just simply a link property. So let's go on to step two. The best way to do this is to click on step one and duplicate. This will give me the same configurations as step one, just have to rename to step two. That filter is still there, focus is checked. So all I have to do now is go to properties and just show what I want to fill out in step two. In this case, I want to fill out the role, the working time, and if it is a remote job. And then I can just fill out step two. Full time, maybe it is a remote job. Now moving on to step three, I can do the same thing. Just duplicate step three, really easy. And now I can go to properties and show maybe just the description. The description is a text property, so it might be quite long. So you can click on the column header and actually wrap column here. What if in step four, I want to then fill out company information? And specifically, I want to fill out the company information I just created, the 123 Tech Company. Well, first we can create a new view and actually change the source of this new view. We can change it from saved listings to companies. And I'm going to keep the table layout, but I could change it to a board view or a timeline, calendar, list, or gallery. What I'm going to do from here is go to properties again and just choose all the properties I'm then going to fill out. So I don't need to fill out job listings, but everything else is fine. I can adjust the columns. Now it looks like, again, I have all of the companies here in my view, and I only want to see one, two, three tech company. So I'm going to do something similar to what I did before, except here I'm not going to create a checkbox property. Let's go to the database menu and properties. I'm going to create a new property in companies. So, so new property, I'm going to name it focus like before, except instead of a checkbox, I'm going to create a roll up. And that's under advanced, under relation. So roll up is like a lookup. All you'll need is a relation property for it to work. So for example, I can choose my relation for my rollup, job listings, that is the relation. And then what I want to grab from job listings is the focus checkbox. And I'm just going to show the original and then hide in view. And then I can go to filter. And instead of creating a filter for the focus checkbox, I'm going to create a filter for the focus rollup. And here I'm going to say focus rollup is checked. And there we see only the one, two, three tech company, which I can then fill out information for. Of course, you can also rename this database view to step four. Now let's say in the last step, I want to go back to save the listing. So I'm going to go step three, where the source is saved listings and duplicate. And I can rename to step five, the final step. I can go to properties and again, show the last properties. So rate per hour and salary range. Lastly, I want to show the focus checkbox. The reason for this is because once I'm done, I want to clear out the form. 
So I can put in rate per hour or salary range. And then once I'm done, I'm going to click on focus. And you'll notice that in every single step that this job listing has disappeared and I'm ready to add a new job listing, even in step four in the company's database. I can also hide a database title and a linked database via that header menu, hide database title. You'll notice when I'm done, if I go back to my original database for saved listings, that that new job listing will appear. And in the same way, if I go to my company's database, that new company will appear. So what I'm doing with this linked database is creating a portal that allows me to create, edit, and manage database entries remotely. So I don't have to touch my original databases. So what I can do is even create a toggle here that says database index or original databases and hide all of my original databases inside of my workspace in here and really just work with linked databases. So if I want to turn this linked database into its own page, I can by going to the block menu of the linked database and turning into a page. Now what I can do is maybe drag this up here and then I can rename this new page by going to the block menu of the page and rename. So let's instead call this add new job listing. And I can even choose an emoji. So now when I go to the link, I can go through my steps in a isolated page. And that's about it. That is how I create a relational linked database. Let's go right into the outro. So I hope you guys found that useful. Of course, all links down below. And I really want to make these shorter videos more often now. I want to do a little bit of a rebranding. So I hope you liked the shortness. Anyway, I'll see you guys really soon with a new video. And there will be more videos more often now. So I'll see you guys on Twitter and next time with a new video. I'll see you then.